with Shell with Tangi Library Baby and Me. Welcome out to my garden for another summer reading program edition of Tangi Tales. So today we are going to be talking all about some gnomes and um, what this gnome does in his garden. So that's why today we are out by my vegetable garden. We're growing some zucchini, some um, cucumbers, tomatoes, some melons, uh, lots of herbs and things that Miss Shell likes to uh, cook with. And I thought this is a good place for us. So if you hear some dogs barking or maybe even a peacock yelling, help, help, that is because my neighbor right over there actually has a peacock. So uh, just like we did with our animal sounds during Baby and Me story times when we were live and in person, you might hear some animal sounds live and on video. So bear with me on that. Now in this tract, we are going to read No, No, Gnome by Ashlyn Anstey. And um, there is also a fun little video of me talking about planting some seeds. And I really hope you guys will get some seeds from whatever discount store you go to and you will plant them in some little cups and grow them. I brought a picture today and I'm hoping with the sun that you can still see this and, it's, and the glare is not too bad. But this is my Colby when he was four years old um, next to his sunflower. And he was so excited that his sunflower got to be much, much taller than he was. And the flower of the sunflower got to be bigger than his head. So you can see up here in this part of the picture, there's a really, really tall sunflower that got to be about eight feet tall. But this one is the one that Colby planted and he was just excited because the flower got so, so big. So if you guys can plant some sunflowers or some herbs or something like that in your garden, take a picture and send it to Shell. Tag it on Facebook, on the Tangi Library Facebook page and let me see. I want to see what you guys are doing this summer, okay? If you do a craft, if you do anything, please let us know. We miss you. We miss your pretty faces. Okay, so we're going to start with our hello song like we always do. And we're going to, where are we going to start? With our nose, right? We're going to touch your nose, okay? And then we're going to pat your head. Can you pat your head? And then we're going to tickle our toes. Can you tickle your feet? Can you tickle your little toes? And then last thing we're gonna do is boop our belly. Where's your belly button, guys? All right, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. All right, toes, where are they? Well, hello, everybody. Can you tickle your toes? Tickle your toes. Tickle your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you tickle your toes? Tickle your toes. Shell's toes are pretty ticklish, so that actually does tickle. All right, where's your belly button? Ready? Well, hello, everybody. Can you boop your belly? Boop your belly, boop your belly. Well, hello everybody, can you boop your belly? Boop your belly. Good job, good job. I hope you guys are learning it. If you have not been to Baby and Me live and in person, I hope you guys are learning the songs and um, are ready as soon as we can to be back together. All right, let's start our book. No, No, Gnome by Ashlyn Anstey. The students at Green whoop, my page blew. The students at Green Thumb Elementary had been working hard on their garden all year long. Finally, it was almost ready to harvest. Everyone was so excited. Especially Gnome. As the students headed outside, Mr. Waters assigned each of them a task. The kids quickly got to work. Look, see everybody's working. This one's pulling something. And here's some girls over here with look, what looks like lettuce. And the rabbits are watering the plants, watering those carrots, because rabbits like carrots. Here's some sunflowers, just like Colby's sunflower. At first, Gnome was helpful. But then, uh-oh, Gnome kind of goes a little crazy. Right? He's not just pulling weeds anymore. Now he's just pulling everything. No, no, no. 
Mr. Waters suggested that Gnome try something else. But pretty soon, see, he was going to help water, but then he goes a little bit crazy with the hose. Do you guys like to play in the hose at your house? I have a puppy dog that when we turn on our sprinkler, she attacks it with her mouth like, ah, da, da, like that as the water goes by. So she has a good time in the hose. No, no, no. Is he squirting all his friends? That's not very nice. It's funny, but it's not very nice. Mr. Waters gave Gnome one last chance. All Gnome had to do was stand still and hold the basket for the garden clippings. Do you think he can do that? I think he could just stand still and hold the basket. That's all you have to do. But Gnome didn't even last one minute. Look what he did. He dropped his basket. He ran crazy. He chased a squirrel. He climbed a tree. He pet the cat. He ate some lettuce. He ran over this way. He went in and out of the flower pots and around in a circle, spin, spin, spin. And then he jumped in the sunflowers. He went a little crazy. Mr. Waters sent Gnome back to the classroom. And look, all his friends are crying. Can you see that? They're so sad because their garden is messed up. When none of the other kids, when the other kids returned, no one said hello. At recess, no one would play with him. And at the end of the day, no one said goodbye. Because they're all mad at him, huh? Do you think that that hurt Gnome's feelings? I bet it did. Gnome was blue. That means he's sad. So Gnome is sad. How can he show his friends that he's sorry? What do you think that Gnome can do to make it up to his friends? Hmm, let's see. He made a mess in the garden. So how can he show him that he's sorry? <gasps> What's Gnome doing? Look, he's getting to work. He's cleaning up his mess. He's putting on his gloves. He's fixing the tomato plants and hammering the boards. Look how pretty Gnome made the whole garden. The next day, Gnome couldn't wait to get back into the garden. The other kids were not looking forward to it. But when they went outside, <gasps> what do they see? Oh, oh, Gnome! Look how beautiful he made the whole garden. He cleaned up his big mess. The students got to work picking their harvest bounty and Gnome was helpful. Well, most of the time, because he's not gonna be perfect. He's still a silly gnome, right? Okay, so I have a flannel board for us today that has some gnomes in it. And you're gonna have to bear with Shell because she has memorized the words, kind of. And they're up there, but I can't see them very good with the sun right here. So I'm gonna have to peek at my cheat sheet here next to me. Can you guys forgive me for that? Okay, because you know, Shell, Shell doesn't remember all the things all the time. You've been with me long enough. Okay, so five tiny gnomes in little cloth suits wearing funny hats. Did you see gnome's funny hat? Let's look at it. See, gnome has a little pointy hat on his head, right? And pointy little boots. See gnome's boots? Okay, so I have five gnomes over here wearing funny little hats and pointy little boots. When the sun has gone to sleep, the gnomes come out to play hide and seek. Where do you see them? Do you see my gnomes yet? The first gnome ducked behind an old wooden door. Peekaboo! The second one nestled behind the grass growing on the forest floor. Peekaboo! The third one climbed a tall, tall, tall tree. Peekaboo brown gnome. The fifth gnome, oh, sorry, the fourth one crawled into a log where no one could see. Peekaboo! The fifth one hid under a mushroom cap where he decided to take oh, a nap. Five little gnomes in little cloth suits with pointy little hats and pointy little boots. Once the sun rises into the sky, the gnomes head home and say goodbye. Goodbye, gnomes.
That's kind of fun, huh? I like that one. My friend Lauren made those for me. She's really good. If you have not been to Hammond and seen Miss Lauren's story time, she's got some videos up where she does the princess and the pea, and they are really wonderful. She even does some shadow puppets, and it's one of my favorite things that I've seen through summer reading this time. So be sure to check that video out on our Facebook or on our YouTube. Okay, so we're going to end with our turtle song like we always do. Okay, can you make your turtle? It's just stick your thumb, and you're going to cover it with your shell, right? And that's our turtle. And his name is Tiny Tim. His, they, she put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. So you're gonna do this like you're swimming. He drank up all the water, which is your W, water. He ate up all the soap. And now he's home, sick in bed with a bubble in his throat. Ready? All right, get your turtle. My mommy had a turtle, she named him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap, but now he's home, sick in bed, with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop! Very good. Thanks so much for joining us again in my garden, and I will see you next week for Old MacDonald Has a Dragon. And we'll have some fun songs with that. Have a fabulous summer. I miss you and I love you. Mwah! Bye.